Hey, what is up guys? This is Rohan from DragonBlocker.com and in this video, we will be checking out PDF Wiz. So what this software basically does is that it converts your existing PDF files to a Word file. The software can also convert PDF files to other formats such as PowerPoint, Excel, Image, HTML, EPUB and XPS. PDF Wiz comes with a three-day free trial in which you can use the software without any limitations. Once the trial period is over, you can then purchase it from the Starsoft website. All the links will be provided in the description box below. So this is the main menu of the software. Let's have a look at each of the features. On the left, we have the option to convert PDF files into various formats. So let's try converting a PDF to a Word file. Here it's asking me to add the PDF file. We can add PDF files by either dragging and dropping them or we can click over here and select the file. Over here you can see the file size, the total number of pages in the PDF and you can even set the page range if you want to extract specific pages from the PDF. You can also change the type of the file to convert from over here. For example, if I choose PowerPoint instead of Word, the PDF will be converted to a PowerPoint file. Let's switch back to Word. Select DocX. Set the convert mode to editability first. And under the save directory, I will set it to custom. And the last thing left to do is to click on convert now. You can track the progress from over here. And as you can see, the conversion process is pretty fast. My PDF has been converted to a Word file. And everything is looking fine. You can also click over here to open the file and over here to open the file directory. The process is fairly same for the rest. So I won't be going over them except for PDF to image where you can select the file format as well as the image resolution. Let's go back. Moving on to the next section, PDF Wiz can also convert specific files such as Word, Image, EPUB and XPS to PDF. Let's try converting a couple of images to PDF. Let me select the files. You can sort the order of the images by clicking here. If you want to save each image in a different PDF, then uncheck this box. Uh, since I don't want to do that, I will just click on convert now. The PDF is ready. Let's have a look. Everything is looking good over here. Let's go back. Uh, once again, the process will be the same for the other files, so I won't be going over them. The next feature is split and merge PDF. As the name suggests, you can split a PDF into multiple PDF files, and you can also merge multiple PDFs into a single PDF file. So let's try out split PDF first. The first one is to split by page numbers. To test this, we can tell the software to make a PDF every two pages. Let's click on split now and test it out. And as you can see, since my PDF had 10 pages, it created five PDF files. The second option is to split by page spots. It will be best to demonstrate this rather than explaining it. So I type 2, 5, 7 and 10 over here. Let's click on split now and see what happens. As you can see, the software has prepared four PDF files as per the specified page spots. 
Merging a PDF is super simple. Just add two different PDF files. Set the sorting order and click on Merge Now. The PDF is ready. Let's have a look. Everything is looking good over here. So let's go back. So the next feature is Extract PDF. Extract PDF lets you extract images or pages from a PDF file. So for example, I want to extract images from this PDF file. So I'll select a JPEG and I'll just click on Extract Now. So since I selected extract image, software extracted all the images available in the PDF. Compress PDF lets you reduce the size of your PDF file. And as you can see over here, this PDF file is around 88 megabytes. Let's try compressing it. So I'll just drag and drop it over here. And let's select the compression level to size first. Click on compress now. The software compressed the file size from 88 megabytes to just over 13 megabytes. Pretty amazing, right? The last feature is Manage Password. This feature lets you set or remove the password of a PDF file. Let's first add a password and then we will remove it. Drag and drop this and we'll click on Add Password and then I'll type in a random password like my name and add password so the file is ready let's open it and as expected it's asking for a password and there you have it now let's remove the password so i'll delete this one and i'll add this pdf file so over here i'll click on remove password and click on remove password i'll type in the password and OK. And we are done. The password has been successfully removed. So these are all the features that you get with PDF Wiz. If you're interested in the software, then go ahead and try it out and let me know your experience. I'll see you in the next one. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product.